Let me just pull up my OBS. Oh, and we're good to go. I think it's recording. Yes. Hey, no one uses this as a cheat sheet, or I'm gonna get in much, much trouble. Evidence of warming. Shoot, that's gonna get uh, people riled up in the comments. Hey, yo, start a fight in the comments about global warming. If there's anybody even watching, probably not. <laughs> the Snow Guardian video. All right. Shoot, wait, am I gonna get in trouble for watching this? How long is this? Watch it together, guys. Shoot, is it gonna record the audio really loud? Oh, no, I'm way louder. Okay, whatever, I just won't talk during it. I won't talk during it! Have you ever wondered if you watched the snow long enough? What stories it might tell? Never once in my life. There is someone who has done it. His name is Billy Barr. I spell it small oh, Billy Barr? Small That's so B close to Billy Bob. Some people I need to call yell. him the snow Otherwise garden. I might not pick up my voice. He lives in a cabin out in the woods. Picture this. It's a snowy day. It's dark and cold. And you make a fire and you're sitting by the fire. And you're reading with a cup of tea. This is the type of guy to try to find two of the same snowflakes. Like, keep them in a box freezing so they don't change shape. And it goes on for nine months. Billy lives alone in this house he helped build. Here he grows his garden, has an impressive hat collection, loves cricket, oh, dang. and dreams of Bollywood. Every couple of weeks, he skis back into the nearest town for supplies. He's been doing this for more than 40 winters. But Billy does a little more than just read and drink tea. For those 40 winters, Billy has kept a meticulous record of snow in his little part of the world. Okay, the market's at February 26, 1978, 10 and a half inches of snow that day. January 20th, minus 11 and a half. April 28th, 1980, high was 41. Ooh, it's, it's 1997, <laughs> one half inch new snow. Me in Michigan. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, the, the high of 41. Yeah. But me in Michigan, who can just, it can be middle of summer and start snowing, or it can be middle of winter and be 80 degrees. That's, that's just how it be. A weasel was roaming around inside the shack. Damn, the birds were back. I lived in an eight by 10 foot old shack and had no electricity, no water, and I had nothing, and I was just there all day. The main thing I interacted with was the weather and the animals. So I started recording things just because it was something to do. I had nothing to prove, no goals, no anything. So actually a researcher at the lab wanted to look at it. And then once he started looking at it scientifically, then all of a sudden, like, these decades worth of data were being used for more than my own curiosity. Billy has done this every day, twice a day, all winter long. I'd keep going until the snow was gone. And if it snowed, I would record that no matter when. The trend that wouldn't work if he just has snow in a bucket to like measure the weight because like what if it's snowing like harder in like everywhere but there it's not gonna happen but like what if it could what i see is that we're getting a permanent snowpack later and we get to bare ground sooner we'll have years where there was a lot of snow on the ground and then we lost snow sooner than years that had a lot less snow just because it's a lot warmer now in a normal winter, you'd expect to have four to five record high temperatures. Last If you expect to have four to five record high temperatures, wouldn't that mean the the temperatures are just going up? Oh, that's what they're trying to say. Whoops, I for a second I thought high meant low, and I was like, wait, what doesn't that mean it's getting colder and colder and never stops getting colder? Year, Billy recorded thirty six. Not only is it a lot warm Alright, but this is just one guy. We're getting a lot of dust blowing in. 
As soon as you get dust on the snow, it melts like that. You're talking about the, the, the snowpack, the water su supply for most of the Southwest. I'm not real hopeful just because I don't know how you reverse something like that. But this guy's kind of old, and because of the virus, it's actually like pol pollution is going down. So, I mean, I'm not saying anything, but like, yeah. Also, that's why I'm doing my homework is because I of the virus. Oh, yeah, by the way, sorry I haven't uploaded recently. I just got distracted by a ton of stuff. As we leave Colorado behind, Billy imparts one last bit of advice. Uh, it, it's like anything else. You know, I, I learned to ski to get around. I learned how to ski better so I wouldn't fall down all the time. Over a period of time, I kind of learned how to survive in this environment. Actually, learning to fall is probably the most important thing. If you're going to fall, sit. A lot easier falling on your butt than on your face. But is it more fun? Oh, better close that before people get mad. What evidence is provide? Um, we're just going to say up to, did you say 10? No, I think it's a 10. Or more record. They ignore my spine. Hi. Temperatures. Even. Though. It's supposed. To. Be like five. Oh, record. Look at that. That's why I love typing. Eighth grade, almost ninth grade, still can't type. Boop, 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 boop. Um, this guy lives alone. Like, seems like a cool dude with a good personality. Why does he not have anyone live with him? I mean, I may just be reading into this, but like, it seems like a good dude. Oh my. Wait, this is the same video. No, it's not. Oh, you're ready to get triggered, guys. Climate change, evidence of change. Oh. Wait, I might reveal some personal info if I'm on this. Wait, which one is it? Oh, get away from me. Evidence of warming. There you go. Yo, I love this music. It's a Watch, I I call in it. Oh yeah, they used to play that in between every video. Another four minutes. How do we know that Earth is warm? Maybe I don't know if I can even show this. I might get a terminated channel for stealing video. Every action channel do it. It should be fine. Scientists have been taking widespread global measurements of Earth's surface temperature for centuries. By the 1880s, there was enough data to produce reliable estimates of global to... average temperature. These data have... I could take out my channel, so I'm going to unfold screen because I'm scared. And what are they going to do? I'm just a little kiddo. ...steadily improved. And today, temperatures are recorded by thermometers at many thousands of locations. 
both on land and over the oceans. Different research groups, including NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies, Great Britain's Hadley Center, and the Japanese Meteorological Agency have used these raw measurements to produce... Look at that trend, guys. Line of best fit. That's a temperature. You can see. Um, if you can look, uh, you can pretty much see that there is a trend of heat rising. And, I mean, that should just be evidence enough. There's no, no reason to look into it any farther. ...records of long-term surface temperature change. Research groups work okay. careful long-term... Wait, 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 wait. Does that say relative comparison? Relative? <gasps> it's fake. Faked. ...surface temperature change. Research groups work carefully to make sure the data aren't skewed by such things as changes in the instruments taking the measurements or by other factors that affect local... He's touching it. His heat, his body heat could raise a temp. ...temperature, such as additional heat that has come from the gradual growth of cities. Oh my gosh, I literally thought there was somebody whispering behind me. Like, Listen, listen, it sounds like there's somebody whispering behind you. If you have headphones in, of course. ...has come from the gradual growth of cities. In the music. These analyses in the music it's so creepy. Oh, another analysis. Hold on. All show that Earth's average surface temperature has increased by more than 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit over the past 100 years. With much of this increase taking place over the past 35 years. As you can see, starting in 1980, this this graph completely went whack. It just it just added a whole new section up to um Four degrees Celsius, of, of course, Celsius. Oh no, point four. That's it. Only point four. Um, now it's it's just rising. It's you can tell. A temperature change. I hate that music. It's like Chah. change of one point four degrees Fahrenheit may not seem like much if you're thinking about a daily or seasonal fluctuation. However, it is a significant change when you think about a. Yo, what happened? Why is the water red? No, I'm just kidding, but... Permanent increase averaged across the entire planet. That's me right there. If I click right now, I will get squished. For example, 1.4 degrees is more than the average annual temperature difference between Washington, D.C. and Charleston, South Carolina, which is more than 450 miles south of Washington. Think about this. On any given day, a difference of 9 degrees Fahrenheit might be the difference between wearing a sweater or not. But a change of 9 degrees in the global average temperature is the estimated difference between the climate of today and an ice age. Wait, so is the temperature lowering? In addition to surface temperature, other parts of the climate system are also... Also, oops, how did they get that picture of the Ice Age? I didn't know there was cameras back then. In addition to surface temperature, other parts of the climate system are also being monitored carefully. For example, a variety of instruments are oh, used dang. to measure temperature... Yo, it just got intense, the music. I'm like rocking out. ...salinity and currents beneath the ocean oh, surface. yeah. Weather balloons are used to probe the temperature, humidity, and winds in the atmosphere. A key breakthrough in the ability to track global environmental changes began in the 1970s with the dawn of the era of satellite remote sensing. Many different types of sensors carried on many dozens of satellites. I'm going to be honest, I don't remember a single thing that just happened. ...have allowed us to build a truly global picture of changes in the temperature of the atmosphere and... Truly global. Nice, Jack. Truly global picture, guys. This is a global picture. Which, why is it so hot in Russia? ...and of the ocean and land surfaces. So Maybe the red is cold. I'm not paying attention. Satellite data are also used to study shifts in precipitation and changes in land cover. Even though satellites do not measure temperature in the same way as instruments on the surface of Earth, 
and any errors would be of a completely different nature. The two records agree. A number of other indicators of global warming have also been observed. For example, heat waves are becoming more frequent. Cold snaps are now shorter and milder. That should be good, right? Short cold s slaps, snaps, bam, bop, bop, bing. Snow and ice cover are decreasing in the northern hemisphere. We're gonna die of a flood, except for God said he would never flood the earth again. Checkmate, global warmers, because the earth can't flood if, even if the ice caps melt. It, they say it would flood, but checkmate, God said it wouldn't happen. So. Glaciers and ice caps around the world are melting. It looks like it's just going in and out if you pay Northern attention. Like, let, me let me slow this Glaciers down. Glaciers and ice caps around the world are melting. Let me put down this down. And many plant and animal species. Right. Let me go back. Okay. Glaciers and ice caps Look at this. around like, right the world here, it's like are going melting. going in and out. It seems like, oh, yeah, but like. Oh, it's getting uh, warmer here, but like you can see up here, the top Ice is expanding. Ice caps around the Already world are like melting. Expanding. It's honestly not that big of a deal. I'm just kidding. If you believe, also this line of best fit, I know that. And many plant and animal species are moving to different latitudes or higher altitudes due to changes in temperature. The picture that emerges from all of these data sets is clear and. Of course, they show this like unknown creature. They're like, oh, it's many creatures, and then they show just one tiny, tiny little bug. Are moving to different latitudes. Like if it was like, if it was like deer are moving, I'm like, oh dang, that's like a well-known creature that I see on day daily almost. But then they're just like, oh, mountain pine beetle, and I'm like, oh, never heard of it. Or higher. Literally looks like a piece of food. Higher altitudes due to changes in temperature. I'm just saying, like, I don't mean to judge. Their pine beetle might be sick. I mean. Pine beetle, not bear. Why did I say bear pine beetle? You know, I'm just gonna stop talking. Wait, did I say bear pine beetle on the? Oh, mountain pine beetle. These are moving to. Wait, is there a bear pine beetle? Or higher altitudes due to changes in temperature. Why are all these beetles? The picture that emerges from all of these data sets is clear and consistent. Earth is warming. Fight in the comments. This ought to rile up some liberals. If if somebody in the comments, Republicans most likely is like, yeah, it's actually not warming. Liberals be like, ah, it is, it is. Especially me saying fight in the comments might rile up some liberals. Especially me saying that it might rile up liberals, might rile up liberals. You know, I, just, I should stop talking before I get mad at myself. Yeah, this music is popping though. Is literally this music slaps, dude. Oh dang, I love this music. Da, da. Okay, enough of this. Evidence of warming. How we know Earth is warmed? Graphs. Um, I need to change this. Or I'm gonna get in trouble. And the snow. Is it just me, or did the brightness on my screen get brighter? I don't know. And the snow, oops, the snow, uh, is less. Uh, excuse me. Um, unlike the guy in the last video, they, uh, have multiple tests and change it out with their bare hands. To make sure they mess it up. Summer! Of course, why wouldn't it? Because it could mean the difference between ice age or not like they said in the video wait i was supposed to memorize like oh, frick. it was like around here wasn't it yeah and changes in land cover data and land surfaces we'll pick the 
the era of global environmental changes began in the 1970s with Ah! Ah ha ha! I'm a genius. Damn. All right. Should I do the other one on camera? Probably not. I'm already going to get in trouble for this, maybe. Maybe. All right. See you guys later. If you... This is going to do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, please smash the like button and hit subscribe. I'm just kidding. You don't have to do anything. But I would appreciate it if you shared it with people, at least, just so I can get more people onto the channel. Got to close my OBS. Oh, look at that. A little portal to another dimension. All right. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, yeah, like, subscribe, share, please. I really want to do this as my job. It's really cool. Then I don't have to do this stuff. Imagine I get a million subscribers before I'm even in high school. Three months, guys, till till summer. Then three more months till high school. Can we hit a million? We're on the way to a million subscribers, guys. Can we do it? Thanks for watching. See ya.